When you're in New Orleans, the Frenchiness of it all just hits you like a sack of palm frites. This isn't a street, it's a rue. And when you're in this cité, you'll rue the day you skip dessert. Sure, you know about Bananas Foster and beignets. Yes, they are the quintessential New Orleans desserts. But first, some kala. I call myself a culinary activist because one of my primary avocations has been to rescue endangered foods that are being forgotten, even though they're delicious. Kala are really a fried rice cake and they have been very closely associated since the late 1700s with the Creoles. If we were to go to Africa today, to the open air markets in Ghana and Liberia, we would find the women there making kala. So this is actually a dish that made the trip across the Atlantic Ocean in the hearts and minds of the enslaved rice growing peoples from Africa. And when it got to New Orleans, it became a very important part of our history here as well. To start off, I take two cups of cooked rice, and to that, we're going to add flour, baking powder, sugar, just a little touch of vanilla. And now it's time to bind the whole kala mixture together with raw eggs. So now that you've got that nice, tight batter form, the only thing left to do is fry them up. You've got to literally put yourself back in New Orleans before we became part of the United States, in the time when the city was ruled by the Code Noir. And the Code Noir laid out all the regulations for how the white people, the free people of color, and the slaves were to live together here in the city. It said in the Code Noir, all slaves were required by law to have at least one day a week off. And many of them were street vendors. Many, many of them were Kala vendors. They would go through the streets of New Orleans and they would call out, Kala, Kala, Belle Kala to show, madame, Belle Kala to show, which means beautiful Kala is very hot. And so to form those Kala up, I'm just moving them from spoon to spoon and then push them off into the oil. As Soon as they're browned on both sides, they're cooked all the way through. Alrighty. Now, they're ready for the powdered sugar. Now, there's one other thing that was in the Code Noir. It said, if a slave came to you, demanded his price and could pay it, then you were required by law to take his money and let him go. Consequently, it was certainly the proceeds from the sale of the Kala that ended up buying freedom for the very enslaved peoples who brought that treasure dish with them from Africa. You should never have a bad meal in New Orleans, and everything tastes better if you know the story behind it.